Well, here we are. Today, actually, let me tell you, this year, I'll be able to vote twice, well, one on one continent and one on another continent. What I mean to say is that, well, let me deal with American since you hear my accent. Um, uh, primary season is going to be over in a couple of months, and then uh, because I live where I live, I'll get an absentee ballot. I'll be voting out of Virginia. We'll see what happens, depending on what happens in the in a race of who I'll vote for, uh, I will tell you straight up before we get any mince any things, I will not under any circumstances be voting for Hillary Clinton. Don't care, okay? <laughs> Either be a third party candidate, or if I want to really be, um, I say, spiteful, I shouldn't say spiteful, whatever I am, because black people or people are not thinking, or the downtrodden are not thinking, right? I might just vote for Trump just so. Since you, since, since folks want to be like a, a what do you call a frog in a beaker and, and fry slowly, right? Trump, at least you have a clear enemy, and then you could we can mobilize because people just refuse to think, mobilize, whatever happened. But let's leave that alone. Today I voted. Yes, I voted today. See, like that. Let me show you. That's that's a thing there. The reason why I can do that. That's my voting mark that I voted. And I voted because I am a student at the historic University of Fort Hare and we had our, our student representative council um, uh, elections today. So you vote for your students. Now this is this has tremendous importance in, in South Africa because the student vote councils of the, the university, I forget how many universities we have, but Eastern University has a has a um, has a student council. And, but usually they're, they're reflected of the general parties, the, the parties that, 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 that rule the country, let's put it that way. Now, the, the, there are a lot of parties, but I guess you want to know the three, the three main parties currently, if you want to put that way. There's a bunch of other things, but, but you know, uh, it's like, uh, I'm not going to name the student organizations, but they're all affiliated with these things. So it would be the ANC, it would be the, the, the Democratic Alliance, and the Economic Freedom uh, uh, fighters. Uh, there's other parties, uh, you know, possible. anyway, it doesn't really matter because they're so minor, minor, minor. Okay, so I got to vote in a South African, or I, I would say, I have to say, in a third world election. What was so nice about it is that they have the paper ballots, you know, and you mark the paper and then you fold it and you put it in the box like I've always seen on TV. And I got to do that, which is different than when I used to vote in the States, where I used to vote in New York. I used to, used to have the machines. I guess they may, they may or may not have them anymore. We have the little clicker, click, 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 and then you take it up, oh, whoosh. You know, and I, and I like that because, you know, and the curtain opens. Wow. But I like that. I guess that's because I'm a sound effects kind of person, you know? Okay, back to the EFF. That's who I voted for, by the way. And I voted for them for simple, I have different reasons for voting for different things. But for me, when I look at the ANC, when I look at the DA, they all run by, I guess it's, I guess this is almost like a third world thing too. They, 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 they depend on leadership. You, know, you follow your leader off a cliff. You, you don't care what, you'll follow your leader to the, to the end, to the, to the very end, right? But the EFF, even though they have a leader, uh, they have a leader, and I guess he's famous because he's very boisterous and whatever have you. That, that would be Judas and Um but more importantly, if you really look at them, if you examine what they're doing, these guys, they don't, they, they, yeah, Julius is their mouthpiece or whatever have you, but uh, they really go with their constitution, with, with their, 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 their document, the document that, that, that says who they are. So they're more interested in that, on, on how the, the document goes rather than who their leader is. And I learned that from, uh, when I learned that, uh, when I found out, when I realized that that's what they were about, it's so different than, say, the American way, because what really turned me off about, I call it the Clintons, but you know, I didn't shoot put on it, but I clearly remember, I voted Democrat in uh, what was, was Bill first term, 1992, something like that. And I voted not for the, I didn't vote for the person, Bill Clinton, I voted for the platform. See, Democrats had a platform, I guess they'd be having that out for the thing, the Republicans had a platform. And, and part of the platform that year was DC statehood. Now what happened was when Bill Clinton won, uh, he, I should have, when Jesse was here at the, 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 the University of Fourier, I should have asked him about this. I had a chance to talk, but he was eating, I didn't want to disturb him. But uh, the, the house goes, 
Uh, Bill Clinton said it, said so. Remember that thing about D.C. statehood? Well, we're not going to do that. In fact, remember a lot of things, we're not going to do that. And the Democrats have been doing that for so long. Remember what we campaigned on? Well, we're not going to do that. It happened with Barack Obama. You know, we, we, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're gonna, oh, oh, we're not going to do that now. We, we have to do this, we have to do this. And I, I, I just can't vote anymore for, for a leader, for, for personalities. I vote for, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders supporter. Not for Bernie, but for the movement. So I'm hoping, in fact, I'll go to the States in the summer. Um, I'm hoping that what will happen is the movement will continue beyond the campaign. There will be a movement in place, unlike when uh, Barack Obama dismantled the movement. Right? So let's hopefully, I'm hopeful that the movement will, will coalesce and in and the, in the, in this. And the, the uh, what's, what's, what's Black Agenda reporter, uh, Black Agenda report is calling it the uh, the Sandernistas. Uh, it's good to say the name's cute. Uh, the, 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 the burn movement, I call it the burn movement. The burn movement will, will, will continue. Meanwhile, I'll see how the uh, elections go today. We'll see what happens with the with my with the EFF. If they win, if they don't win, I don't care. I just I'm, I'm voting for the I'm voting for the for the platform. So it's going to be quite interesting times. Uh, well, this year and next year, both for the states and uh, and for South Africa. So that's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>